This is where Luna 2.0 price recovery will land. Luna price has been trading below the larger range since its breakdown on June 8. However, the recent surge in bullish momentum could push Terra up to retest the said level. Luna price set a range, extending from $3.50 to $10.20 as it rallied 190% in under 4 hours. This massive run-up is where Terra remained for the next 11 days. On June 8, the selling pressure resulted in EA breakdown. The consequence is a 4-hour candlestick close below $3.50, which led to a 46% crash that came close to retesting the minus 27% retracement level at $1.69. Since then, Luna price failed to recover above the $3.50 hurdle. The recent tag of the $1.69 barrier has pushed Luna price up by 32% to where it currently trades $2.07. If this momentum continues, there is a good chance that the Luna 2.0 altcoin will reach the $3.50 blockade. In total, this run up to $3.50 would constitute a 72% ascent and is likely where the upside is capped for Luna price. However, a 4 hour candlestick close above the said barrier will paint an even more bullish picture and open the path to $4.98. While things are looking up for Luna price, a spike in selling pressure that produces a 4 hour candlestick close below $1.69 will create a lower low. This development will invalidate the bullish thesis and allow the bears to take control. In such a case, Luna price could crash to the $1 psychological level and in a highly bearish case retest the listing price at 50 cents. Crypto workers behind Terra and Luna are facing a flight ban in South Korea. The ongoing crypto crash has brought a lot of investors back down to earth. In the case of current and former Terraform Labs employees, it's keeping them literally grounded. Dozens of past and present staff from the company behind two notorious crypto coins, TerraUSD and Luna, have been barred from leaving South Korea, according to multiple reports. The travel ban comes amid an intensifying investigation into the sudden collapse of TerraUSD, a so-called stablecoin algorithmically pegged to the value of the US dollar. It turned out not to be so stable. Some of the first hints of the travel ban emerged on Twitter, where Daniel Hong, a former Terraform Labs employee posted that he hadn't been allowed to board a scheduled flight to New York City. Korean outlet JTBC reported the same day that another person, one of the primary designers, behind TerraUSD was under a travel ban. Then, on Tuesday, the Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office confirmed a travel ban was in effect for tens of current and former Terraform workers, according to a report from the Financial Times. Bloomberg likewise reported that officials linked to the stablecoin's collapse were barred from air travel, citing an official with the prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office did not immediately respond to Gizmodo's request for comment. South Korea's ongoing investigation into the Terra Luna collapse is being led by a special financial crimes unit, nicknamed the Grim Reapers of Uido, after the Seoul Financial District, Uido, think South Korean Wall Street. The financial-focused investigation team gained renown for its role in hundreds of arrests in past cases including large embezzlement scandals. In the case of Terraform Labs, the Grim Reapers are looking into possible fraud and other financial violations on the part of the company, its employees, and its founder, Du Quan. The probe came after the filing of two official complaints from a group of 81 investors. Terraform founders and the company deceived investors with their flawed algorithmic coins, read the complaint documents, according to an earlier, Financial Times report. Terra was frequently touted as fiat-backed, stable, and safe in advertisements which crypto platform, Binance, is facing its own legal troubles over. Terra was designed to never drop below a $1 value in a swap scheme with the Luna coin. However, back in May, TerraUSD's algorithm failed and the currency became depegged from the US. Dollar. A death spiral of its sister coin, Luna, soon followed. The value of both fell to basically nothing and investors lost everything they had put in. Will Terra Luna burn its supply? A Terra Luna burn was one potential recovery plan for the collapsed crypto. A Luna burn of its supply was one proposed idea to help the Luna recovery, but could it still happen? With the Luna crypto crash seeing the Luna circulating supply skyrocket to over 6.5 trillion coins, several holders wanted to see a Terra Luna burn to decrease this supply and potentially increase its value. 
Much like the success of Shiba Inu burns among the SHIB community, will holders be successful at implementing Luna burns? The Terra Recovery Plan launched Luna 2.0, meaning a Luna burn was not chosen as the way to save Luna. It did, technically, have the same effect as a burn could in reducing the supply, although deciding to restart the chain was a more nuclear approach. This new chain will launch with 1 billion Luna, a huge decrease from 6.5 trillion. By burning the Luna, holders hope this will increase the scarcity of their coins, pushing the price back towards $1. With the supply increasing 1,700% in a few days, a major burn would be needed to restore this price. This initially seemed to be the method favored by Binance CEO CZ. He remained in close contact with the Luna team ever since the partial Luna delisting on Binance. However, with the Binance Luna 2.0 support, it seems Binance will not contribute to this burn. Despite the Terra Luna vote approving a new chain, much of the Luna community seemed in favor of a burn. The hashtag BurnLuna hashtag trended on Twitter throughout the voting process. Not everyone in the cryptocurrency community was in favor of a Luna burn. With some Luna holders calling for Terraform Labs or the Luna Foundation Guard to buy and burn the supply, users have questioned where these places would get the money to do such huge burns from. While Luna 2.0 is taking over as the main form of Luna, a separate coin, Luna Classic, still exists and could help to itch this burning desire. LUNC holders will hope burning helps push up the Luna Classic price. Even though the Luna 2.0 crypto exchange list grows, some exchanges previously vowed to burn Luna through their transaction fees. With Luna Classic continuing the old Luna's chain, with a circulating supply of 6.5 trillion, these burns will need to be pretty hefty to make an impact. As the Luna community continued to demand Luna burns, TFL CEO Duquan posted the Luna burn address on his Twitter, which seems to have kick-started a burn movement. While Quan asked why holders would do this, stating it is literally burning money, this has not stopped holders. According to the Explorer, through 3,760 transactions, holders have burned 1.05 billion Luna as of June 2nd. This makes up just making up just 0.016% of the circulating supply. With that, we've come to the end of the video, kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon for more interesting daily cryptocurrency predictions. If you find this video helpful and interesting, kindly consider liking and sharing our videos with your friend. If you have any questions or contribution kindly drop them on the comment section below. Disclaimer. Please keep in mind that this isn't financial advice, we take no responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you use the information we provide at your own risk. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.